So we're making some progress. The next piece that I want to do is I'm going to dump some text in here. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to jump over. I can even refresh this here. I'm going to jump over to lipsum.com and I'm going to get a big chunk of Greek text. I actually believe it's Latin text, but that's beside the point. And I'm going to highlight this text, six paragraphs, and hit copy. And I'm going to go right to my page content. I'm going to highlight this dummy text and paste that in there. And now you can see that everything is inside that div tag. And also, Dreamweaver has added paragraph text for me. As a matter of fact, I have a second div now that it created, which I don't need. I just need things to be inside the page. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the extra div tags. That's just a function of copying and pasting. And now I have my page inside. Let's save this and let's preview it. Now, I have this page. It's starting to do what it's supposed to do, but my text is kind of bland. And what I want to do is use CSS to create uh, some formatting. Now, I'm going to need a couple of different formats here. I want one for headlines. I haven't added a headline, but I'm going to. One for subheads, one for body copy, and assuming I had a quotation or an excerpt, <clears throat> I'm going to add another style. So now we're dealing not with divs. Our divs are done. Our page divisions are done. But we're going to do this with a combination of classes and um, tags, mostly with classes, and that will become clear in a moment. So the first thing we need is a body text class. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take this out, um, this first copy. I'm going to cut this out, actually. And before we go to the P tag, I'm going to go ahead and simply paste that in there above the first paragraph. And I'm going to use my, here, let's refresh this. I want to do as much of this as possible inside um, the visual editor. And what I'm going to do is under HTML, I'm going to choose Format Heading 1. And you can see this is a default heading style built into HTML. And it makes big chunky text. We're going to define some rules for that. I'm also going to make a subhead. Let me cut this out of here. And let me hit Return and paste it there. And this has a paragraph tag. In this case, I'm going to make this heading 2. So I've got two styles of headings, a heading and a subhead. Save here, refresh here, and we should see the bigger text and the slightly smaller text. So we need a tag for H1, a tag for H2, body text, and quote text. So let's create those rules. Now for our H1, I'm going to go ahead and create this. This is going to be for a tag. And you can actually make your own tags, or you can choose from a list here. I'm going to choose the H1 tag. And under type, I'm going to choose um, Georgia. Font size is going to be 18. Um, font weight is going to be bold. And I'm going to make that text black. And if we apply that, Let's make it bigger. Let's make it 24 and apply that. And I'm going to make it even bigger because I've got such wide text. So it's easy to format this stuff as you go. And that's going to do it for my H1 text. For my H3 text, actually this got, um, H1 got written into my page for some reason. I must have hit the wrong button. So this is a common thing. I'm glad I made the mistake because all I have to do is copy it out of there and paste my rules right in here. Here's my H1 rule and you'll see that even though it's in the separate style sheet document it works just fine. I want to do the same thing with my H2. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it 
let me see if I can get this on the screen for you. And all I want to do here is make my subheads the same, but make them 24 point. And let me save that. And we should have, here's my H1 and my H2. Let's capitalize it and make it a proper subheading. Okay, next is going to be a style. You'll notice that all of my paragraphs are preceded with P tags and they end with slash P. So what we need is a style of the P tag. P tags may occur, or paragraph tags, uh, like image tags and other kinds of tags, may occur in various places in the document. And we might want to format text differently. As we're going to see, some of our text we're going to want to use for quotes. So we're going to need at least two styles of P tag. What I'm going to do here is create a new style called body text. I'm going to make my new rule. And here's where I forgot last time. This needs to be in styles.css. And this is going to be a class. And I'm going to name it body text. That's, you could name it body copy. You could name it regular text, page text, whatever you want, whatever suits you. This is not something that's built uh, into the code specification. It's your name. So then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to choose... Um, Georgia again, I'm going to use a dark gray, I'm going to use 12 point with a nice wide letting, and that's going to be fine. I'm going to hit apply, and you're going to notice that nothing happens in my code on the side. Why? What I need to do is highlight this text. Let me move some of these extra pieces off the screen. I need to highlight this text. And I think what I'm going to do here, uh, having highlighted that, um, here's my properties palette. And you'll notice that in the class, I can apply this here. And now that I see that, what I think I'm going to do is bump up my point size a little bit. This is my properties inspector. Screen gets a little crowded. Um, but I'm going to go to 14 point and save that and what we should have here is you can see that now down here under this quote I'm gonna do the same thing sometimes Dreamweaver is gonna display things wrong nothing you can do about it so you have to check on your regular page I'm gonna choose body text that seemed to fix the display now we have this one paragraph in here let's take what we've done the body text Notice that it, because it's a class, it starts with a period. Here are my tags. Uh, this should have been my H2 tag. That was the problem there, H1, H2. Here's my body text. And uh, I'm going to make another class, copy, paste, and it's going to be called quote text. And what I want is to keep everything the same, but I want to make this a little bit lighter. I think I'm going to try 999 as a color. Um, and then once I'm in here, I'm going to class quote text. Now that's all right. I want to indent this a little bit. So let's, instead of messing around with the code, notice you can do things both ways. I want to look for my, let's find that body text. Here's quote text. Let's double click it. When we go to our box, what I want to do is add an additional margin on the left of 25, an additional margin on the right of 25 pixels, and that will take care of that. Another thing I'm going to do with my body text, because I can, is where I go to the block. Um, I'm going to put a, tent, a text indent, and we're using uh, what what size type here? I think we're using uh, body text is 14. So um, let's go to the to the body text, go to the block, and under text indent, let's use 14 pixels, and that should give us a nice proper M space at the beginning of all of our paragraphs. So I've got the body text and the quote text done.